am attempting to go to four NBA playoff games in the next 48 hours, and the first arena is right there. Game one is the Dallas Mavericks versus the Utah Jazz. I've gone to three games in 24 hours and five games in 50 hours, but this challenge might actually be impossible. For starters, half of the teams aren't even in the playoffs. There are way less playoff games a day than the regular season. The cities are so far apart and the flights are so tight that we won't watch one full NBA game this whole trip. But hey, it's Dark Street behind us. You know, if we miss any of these flights, we're actually gonna miss the game. Yeah, this might actually be impossible, but we're early. We made it into the stadium. This is our seat. We have the most insane view for a playoff game. This is mad. I have to complete 10 different challenges by the end of the video. And if I don't, my playoff tour is gonna end after this fourth game. But if I'm successful, I'm gonna go to more and more NBA playoff games every single day. For the first challenge, you have to correctly predict three of the four games we're going to. I think the Jazz are gonna take this one because Luka is hurt, even though they're home. The Mavericks are giving me courtside access right now for the pregame. This is perfect because I need to touch the court, talk to some players, get these challenges done. I'm in the backstage right now, which is actually one of the challenges. This is where the players walk through. Oh, hello! Cold in this house to go. I can't break. I don't know if you were expecting Bobon or anyone, but I'm not. I'm Luca's cousin. I'm not. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know he was right behind me. Theo had to wait for me to go through. Walking through the tunnel that the players get to walk through. Free game, this is insane. Check it out. This is my opportunity to get as many challenges done as possible. I'm not gonna be here for the full game. I have court access right now. I was not expecting to find this at all at the first game. Oh my goodness, it's the 75th anniversary basketball. It is so beautiful. It is blinging. Legends have held this ball. Oh my God. That is another challenge completed straight away. What's good, What's, What's going on with you guys? Getting the dub today? Yeah, we're gonna try our best, man. We're gonna go out there and do what we do. Let's go. What's good, brother? What's good, man? Getting the dub today? Yes, sir. Y'all watch the vid? Yeah. Let's go. That's fire. I have reunited with Vauban. It's been like two years. So I gotta get high fives from all the players. Let's go. High five. Let's go. Can we have an instant replay of that dap up? Man has the most massive hands I've ever seen in my life. After completing four challenges straight away, I was feeling it, so I decided to make my way to the team shop to get a Dallas jersey to trade for when we go to the Warriors game. I was not expecting to find this. They have red all-star jerseys here, a Luka one. I got a cop. Trade that at the next game. This? Yeah. Can I get a different jersey? Go for it. I'm keeping this one for myself. Francisco just gave us the discount. After getting the jersey, we rushed back to our seats, and just as the game was about to start, we snapped a quick photo with Patrick Mahomes' mother and quickly got back to our seats just as the game was starting. Playoff atmosphere is so hype. Ah, let's go! And the 48 hour countdown starts right now. Is amazing. Right when they score, watch the arena erupt. Show me something. And one! Oh! One thing I love about the arena is the sound the ball makes when it goes in. Oh, Brunson, that was saucy. Oh, my God. Right now at halftime, it's 1.30, and our flight boards at 3 o'clock, so we're going to have to leave the arena around 2.30, so we might not make the end of the game, which is the best part. But we can't miss our flight. Y'all, I'm about to get a bucket. Here we go. Graphics are so realistic, it's insane. There is five minutes left, the Jazz are up seven, but we have to go right now. Like I'm about to go sprint. Y'all, we gotta get to the car. We always leave too late. Our flights are always way too close. I am so nervous we're gonna miss this flight. Hello. How you guys doing? I'm so sad we couldn't finish the game. We gotta see who wins it and make our flight. Utah's holding the lead. Wait for the lead. Oh, and that is game. The Utah Jazz have won it, so we did get our prediction correct. Let's go. Our flight just started boarding, and we are still on our way to the airport. I think we might be the last ones on the plane, or not on the plane. Y'all, 
y'all. We barely made the flight. The app says that we're gonna land at 6.12, but the game starts at 5.30. Should only be like a 15 minute drive to the arena, but definitely pulling up pretty late. We made it to San Francisco. We're at the airport and the game just started. I'm gonna predict that the Warriors are gonna win this match. The arena is about 20 minutes away. Hopefully we'll pull up like midway through the second quarter. We're rushing, man. This is stressful. We're on our way to the arena right now. We've already completed four out of the 10 challenges, so we have six more remaining. If we complete all 10, we're continuing our playoff tour, going to more and more games. But if we don't, the tour ends, people. The first challenge you should do is trade that Dallas jersey. That's true. We gotta find a Warriors fan that will take a Dallas jersey for their jersey right off of them. We've made it to the stadium. Let's go inside. Made it to our seats. There's 10 minutes left in the second quarter right now. This is the shirt the seat came with, but we pulled up late and someone took that and Emmy shirt. <laughs> oh, a dog. So happy right now. Yeah! I want to see a Curry three. Euro. Ooh! And one! That was actually disgusting. Defense! Ah, my bad. That shot. The Warriors are up by 11 at halftime with that curry three. At halftime, we decided to get some food. We hadn't eaten the whole trip, and I know you're wondering how good the pizza is. It's busting. After some food and entertainment, it was time to try and swap our Dallas jersey for a Warriors jersey. This isn't gonna be easy. I have a question for you. Would you be down to trade this premium Luka Doncic jersey for your Warriors jersey? No. No? I would, but my girlfriend got this shirt. Oh. <laughs> That's good, fellas. Got a question for y'all. Would y'all be down to trade this Luka jersey for one of your jerseys? You down? No way! Let's go! We made the jersey swap happen. I feel like I fit in now. I'm a proper Warriors fan. Alright, Jokic is in the post. Will they double team? Is it coming? They're not doubling. And he makes it. That makes sense. This is starting to be a Warriors blowout. They are going way ahead right now. Draymond knew to pass it. Goal! Let's go! Defense! 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 I think I was the first person to say it. I'm not gonna lie, you know. Hell. No way! I doubted it, man. I doubted it. Warriors are up by 20 at the end of the third. Safe to say I got this prediction right. And that is game, ladies and gentlemen. Warriors took it. It's actually nice. We don't have to rush to the airport. We actually have a decent amount of time. Warriors! I love being a fan of the local team. <laughs> we are on our way to the airport right now to catch a night flight all the way to Miami across the country, so I'll see you there. We have made it to the city of Miami. The weather is perfect. We are a bit sleep deprived. So next stop, the stadium. We have completed six of the challenges. Now we're gonna have to leave at around halftime to make our flight to Phoenix. It's gonna be super tight and we have a connecting flight. So that means we're flying to Dallas. Then from Dallas, we're flying to Phoenix and we're pulling up late to the Phoenix game. This challenge is actually ridiculous. We've flown across the entire country. We have made it in the arena. I know this doesn't look like the arena, but they got a bunch of offices in here. That championship banner on the floor. This is crazy. And we have made it now into the arena. So we have the challenge to get to the highest point in the stadium. We're going to the press level. Didn't even know this existed. Y'all check this out. We have 100% reached the highest point in the stadium. That's the roof of the stadium. We're higher than the banners right now. I can't believe we got up here. We have made it to our seats again. Fantastic seats. We're two for two for predictions. The Heat are the number one seed, so I gotta predict the Heat to win this. Come on now. Game number three has started. Let's go Heat. Let's go, Heat! Let's go, Heat! Yeah, no one's doing anything. Did it catch on? Jimmy. Oh, we don't want the three. Kyle Lowry! Oh! I want to see Trey Young sauce. Oh, three! Oh, he, I don't even think he hit rim. 
Loader alert! Hey! Oh, Hero's fast. He's fast. All the way! Oh, that's a charge! Let's go! Kyle Lowry taking charges! Taking a charge from an NBA player seems like the most painful thing. End of the first, the Heat are up by six. Every week we give $1,000 to a subscriber, so we're gonna give it to someone in person, and it's a challenge, so it's a two for one. I'm hyped. Hey, are you subscribed? Oh, he is! You are the subscriber of the week with a thousand dollars for being subscribed. Yes, sir. That's why you need to subscribe. I that don't know so what to lit. say, man. Good call. Jimmy, one more! Larry! <laughs> it's the second quarter and it's already starting to be a blowout. Duncan, he's a shooter. Everywhere else, who has the best energy? I feel like the Warriors so far. These people are crazy. <laughs> they don't have as much chance though. <laughs> Unfortunately, boys, it's the third quarter and we're gonna have to leave in about seven minutes to make our play and give us enough time. We are not missing this flight. We literally have a driver on deck just ready for us. Y'all, we made it past security. The game is still going on. We made the flight and the Heat won the game, so we got the prediction right. There were no direct flights to Phoenix, so we're gonna have to stop in Dallas, then take a flight to Phoenix. If everything goes right, we're gonna land at seven, but the game starts at six. So hopefully we'll get there around halftime, third quarter. If our next flight gets delayed, we could miss the game. A lot could go wrong. One flight down. One more to go. We've been sitting on the runway for about 20 minutes, and they said there's a maintenance problem. We already should have be an hour late, my guy. We gotta miss the whole game. Hey. The final challenge is literally just to make it to the final game, and that might not even happen now. It's been 40 minutes since we were supposed to leave. I don't even know if we're gonna make this final game now. I'm so stressed. I was starting to lose hope. After 40 minutes with no update, it was looking like we weren't going to make it and fail this whole challenge. Then we got updated. We're gonna have to return to the gate, tag team maintenance. We have a brake system one fault light. We have no relief on accepting an aircraft that has uh... Y'all, we have to go back to the gate to get the plane fixed, but there's no gates open. I'm gonna cry. At this point, I was literally breaking down and crying. Then some good news happened. They do have a gate available for us to park at, but they do not have any ramp personnel to bring us in. Not. It's been an hour at this point, and we really have to leave in the next 20 minutes, or we're gonna fail this video. None of us have eaten today either because we've been in such a rush. We are starving. Get us off the plane. <laughs> And truly, when we thought all hope was lost, the mechanic boarded the plane to fix the problem. It was looking like we were actually gonna make it to the- Will not clear, so greatly apologize, but you need to have you gather all your things, and uh, this aircraft is now out of service. Are you serious right now? <laughs> we were literally on the runway for two hours before we could get off that plane. We actually made it to the game. Psych. We're supposed to be there. We should be there right now. The Phoenix game has ended and we are still at the airport. So we have failed the challenge because of things out of our control, like the plane literally breaking pain. I feel like I failed you guys and the playoff tour is supposed to end, but I feel like I need to redeem myself and we did five games in 50 hours. So I feel like the only way to redeem myself is by going to six playoff games. About to go get some new plane tickets, new NBA game tickets and redeem myself. Subscribe, my next video will be us going to six games. We will not fail this time.